Come on, Dallas, let's go. Again, come on, Dallas, let's go. Two to go, come on, two. Yep, one more. Yeah, so good, a uh, uh, good workout, man. I had fun. One, uh, Dallas made me flat press for the first time since I think I was going through puberty, basically. <laughs> um, so we started with heavy. Um, I will, actually, we did uh, some activation stuff first. I think we talked about a little bit, just getting his upper body warmed up. Press back in. Next one, pull down like you're in the bottom of like a chest press. You're actually at the bottom. And really pull the shoulder blades together. And now I can press back into my hands. Or straight down. Yep. Four, three, two, one. Now bring it back up. And then pull down the same thing. Really pull the shoulder blades together first. And then push down through here. Um, and then from there I went to heavy flat barbell press. Um, and just a couple little things, like you said, you'll see every little every little movement just adding a little thing here or there. Big thing for Dallas. And any guys that have big front delts or big delts overall, like a big thing that's important for him is being able to keep them pulled back and keep his chest up. And so literally it's just about mechanical advantage. If he's got his shoulders pulled around it and forward, they've got a really good advantage to do a lot of work. So that was kind of like the reoccurring is like every movement is a slightly different position. So working yeah. on his position there for bench, um, it'll be good if you see the video working on an adjustment from even finishing the motion. There's a couple where he started to let his shoulders come forward a little bit to finish it. And literally as soon as we gave that cue, you know, kind of locked in. Yeah. From a bodybuilding standpoint, from like a shoulder standpoint, like it's better. It's like when people try and like, you're kind of too flat and you don't have everything kind of lined up. Yeah. Actually be a little tougher on the shoulder joint. And then the thing too for you, like the bigger your shoulders are, the more important it is that you keep your shoulder blades pinned back. Because obviously I'm sure you know, like you make your front delts work a lot. Very dominant, yeah. Unfortunately. And the nice part is like some people try to categorize things like somehow like form can take away from output. Dallas will be the first to tell you like on everything where we got him in a little better position, he felt stronger. You know, he felt yeah. more locked in and more stable. Um, making that little adjustment, I think it was 405 for 12 reps or 10 reps or something, something like that. Like that yeah, yeah which is all right. That's pretty good. Um, decent for a little. Yeah, fall. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put it in. Put it in now. Come on. See. Yep. Two more. I got you. Come on. Oh. Yeah, easy. Come on. Yep. Finish. Oh. Oh. Shit. So uh, did some heavy pressing and, and again hopefully improved his position a little bit. Keep it more on his chest. Keep his shoulder feeling good. I think your shoulder felt good all day today. Somewhere. Yeah, that's the thing is you know a lot of people like he was just saying you know a lot of people equate proper form with you know decreasing output or whatever you want to call it. But in reality today I felt that you know once he got me in the positions I needed to be in order to be locked in and have the muscles firing from a mechanical advantage in a stable position. Uh, I felt like the weights were lighter and moved a lot easier, yeah. a lot more efficient, yeah. Yep, yeah. and then uh, we went to a dumbbell press there, incline dumbbell press. Similar type thing is so it's on an incline, the thing we focused on even more is not just that pulled back position, but I gave him a little cue to help feel like pulled down. Uh, get tight, come on. Keep it moving, come on. I got you. Let's go, come on. Again, come on. Again, yeah. Dallas, come on. Two to go. Yep, yeah. easy, come on. Yep. Oh. You know, I'm talking about it's all individual. Um, you know, a lot of people think if you press a dumbbell, if you don't touch them. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, that. yeah. But I mean, I think what people don't realize is it really depends on the width of the person yeah, and the of width of the dumbbell. The width of the dumbbell, yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah. It's like if you got to come way past here, yeah. you know, once again, that's just shoulder instability. Yeah, and no tension there. Um, and then we went to a little superset combo. We did a, a cable fly. Yep, so we let your shoulders pull back out of side. Keep them back the whole time. Same 
same thing. Don't think about it. Think about your finish and just get your bias up into the side of your chest. There you go. Just squeeze it hard there. Stretch, pause there. Good. Um, you'll see we stuck a foam roller behind Dallas's back. Uh, that's because foam rollers are cool, they're anabolic. Uh, just kidding. Foam roller, the, the benefit of that is you can kind of imagine lets him really pull his shoulders back. Um, if anything, pull him back even further than he could on a flat bench. Yeah. So, again, for any movement, we're just trying to make his chest do as much work and keep his delts out of it. So, that's a great one I've had a lot of success with with bigger guys. Again, because he can really pull back so far around hard. there. Yeah, he keeps isolated on his chest. The super set with the dumbbells with the manual yeah. resistance was killer. Yeah, and then we did incline dumbbells with manual resistance. And you'll see, like Dallas kind of said, that's, you know, as far as cool exercises, cool machines go, whatever, there's absolutely nothing better than if you know how to do manual resistance. It because Yeah, because there's no point in time. There's a, a dumbbell fly is a good exercise because it's tough at the bottom, but it's cake at the top. Where if you do it with manual resistance, it just sucks it's the entire time. It's not cake anywhere. Yeah, yeah, so if you really... You can't see from the video as much, but basically I was trying to match how his body can have output. So making it a little bit harder at the top, where normally there's no tension. I was actually adding weight on the way down, because you're a little stronger and eccentric, so I was actually pushing him a little bit more on the way down. Yeah. And then just keeping a little bit of tension as we came to the top. So every single rep, it's one of those things where it just makes it horrible. There's no break and it just runs out fast to the point where we're actually finishing just with eccentrics, where he could literally not get it pretty much up on his own. Yeah. And then just jamming some eccentrics down and, um, and then doing some force stretch after that as well too. And uh, again, come on, fight me, fight me, fight me. Fight it down, it's all on the chest, all on the chest, keep tension there. Uh, again, come on. Resist, resist, resist. Yep, 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 yep. Again, Dallas, come on, up. I got you, two more like that. Come on, fight it, fight it, fight it. Don't let tension off, don't let it off. So, just a nasty little combo, ton of tension, no break for the pecs. And then we finished with uh, decline, decline barbell press. Same thing, everything was pretty locked in at that point in time. And, uh, that just felt, felt like a yeah, good, just, yeah, good move to get some yeah. lower pecs. Yeah, come on, Dallas. Yep, I got you. Come on. Yep. Oh, one more. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Up. Oh. Yep. Um, and then Dallas, I want to touch on, touch on triceps a little bit. Yeah. So you just got to be careful when you say that around me, what touch on means. Yeah, we're going to touch on triceps. They yeah. kill them. Yeah. So uh, we picked the motion. If you'll see again, we did a, a cable cross. You know, so we're not just doing it because it's different and it's cool. I've never done it before, but it's I'll, I'll use it again for sure. So that's an example of like, I can't hammer enough for everybody. Make exercises to match your body. And again, nobody's got a body quite like Dallas. So if you, if you imagine a guy Dallas is with in his size, trying to do a little V-bar press down, like if he goes where his arms just want to go, he's either got to rip that handle apart or he's got to turn like this and his shoulders and his elbows end up eating a lot of the tension. So the advantage of the cables is everything just lines up. His body can just move how it's supposed to move. There's no single handle that lets you come apart like this. A rope is pretty close, but not quite as good as a cable. So motion's a great motion because it's so joint. It's friendly. honestly probably one of my favorite tricep exercises. Yeah. Like I'll be honest, that was, that was really cool. Yeah, when you do it, it's one of those things, it's super joint friendly. And if, if something's not putting extra tension on joints, that extra tension's going to the muscle. So it just hurts the triceps like crazy and it's yeah. pretty cake on the, uh, on the, uh, the joints. And then from there we had him you know, extending it where it's overloaded more here in this position where he's fully extended. I need to extend the set where he has a little bit of strength left with partials here. And then I was taking him over to a Smith machine, getting the tricep in a little more lengthened position and doing kind of like an overhead press variation with the Smith machine right into um, kind of like a high push-up position. So somewhere between like a push-up and an extension. Yeah, two more here, come on. One more. Yeah, push it. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Squeeze it. Come on. Three to go. Two, come on. Um, and at that point in time, like, I, I love to do supersets and giant sets and stuff when you're doing, like, like he said, kind of touch on at the end of the workout. I don't care who you are, you're not going to be handling max loads on your triceps after wanna, two hours of chest. I want to touch on triceps. That's somehow equated to, yeah. I want to do a four exercise giant set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's how we touch on. So it's, <laughs> I think that's a great place. You know, for things that are a lot of tension, you know, extended sets and giant sets, we're gonna, it's not like crazy, crazy load. 
you know, it's just more of the, the, the mechanism of, you know, if it's from a metabolic stress or something. At the end of the day, everybody knows both work. I mean, we don't need to say, like, anecdotally, we can look back at the past 50 years. Lifting heavy weights works, and things that get great pumps work. And so, in reality, it's like sometimes it's just a time and a place for yeah, put them both when you in. use both. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, really good workout today. It's like I said, kind of like back, a good combination of lifting some heavy stuff and um, tweaking form a little bit here and there. And uh, I don't know. That was a good one. That was one of the better chest days I've had. And uh, just. Thank you for coming down. And yeah, I really sure. appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's good. We'll be back. That's it.